What's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? Holly. Jeremy. Thanks for the memories. Yep. What and are we doing today, Jeremy? I was just going to say, and what we're doing today is, I don't know if you guys are sick and tired of your snakes. It's knocking over those water dishes. Yep. You know what I mean? You know, like, you know, when you just put fresh water in and then they knock them over or you put fresh water in and they just start putting cocoa in them. I don't know if that happens to you, but here, here's a little video to show you what I mean. Oh, I better get the snake some water. Oh yeah. For my lovely precious snake. Let's see here. Oh, oh look at this snake. Snake thirsty, huh? Snake thirsty. See? Lovely snake. There you go, snake. Okay, well, I better give this snake some water. There we go. Oh, here you go. Here you go, good snake. Good snake. What the? Oh no, what am I gonna do? How will I stop <laughs> these snakes from knocking over and getting cocoa in their water dishes? What to do? Oh. <sighs> Those crazy snakes, yeah. right? <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to fix that, you know, to fix this getting knocked over issue and water going everywhere every day, every time you change it. Well, it's what I'm gonna do to fix it. Um, but before I show you how we're gonna fix it, if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, you know, check out all of our other videos. Also, Last week of the shirts being on sale. What shirts? Are you wearing it? Ooh. Christmas in July. You can get this shirt, which is pretty sweet. I like it. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Let's, let's get into it. Yeah. <laughs> More like a wow, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Stop <laughs> doing this. Let's just get to the video. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Next up. Next up. So, uh, what I am, I have thought about. <laughs> what I have thought about doing is requires a little bit of. Hot glue. Hot glue stick. A little bit of going to Home Depot. And then I'm literally going to create my own water, water cup holders. Like you do in them fancy racks, but for Sterilite tubs. Mm -mm. So... So we are going to um, be adding this, and I already made one up to see if I liked it, and I'll show you what it looks like. Go grab that, Ollie. Okay, I'll grab that. Don't worry about it. No. So, 
Before. After. Ooh. So, so now, deli cup. And I, I'm just testing this out right now with the hatchlings and then my grow up rack uh, tubs. But then after this, I am going to go get some other deli cups, like eight ounce deli cups. Yeah. For like the breeder. For the big gals. But I wanted to try and make, see if this worked first. And I think it's going to work. Oh, he's not. a looking and he's a liking. So yeah, this into there. Ta-da! So none of that <laughs> snake stuff happens. Yeah. Gosh dang snakes. So. Tip it over now, snakes. They, they'll find a way. They will. But <laughs> honestly, so I got these at Home Depot. They are two inch couplers, I want to say. And they're $1.30. So. A dollar thirty. Like how much is a water bowl? Like two bucks for like yep. a good like ceramic one that won't knock over. Maybe especially I don't since know. Dollar Tree raised their prices. Dollar twenty five. Ridiculous. <laughs> but I got these at Home Depot, and I bought a whole bunch of them. Again, they were a dollar two inch couplers, and I'm just gonna hot glue these in. I'm gonna show you what I do. It's pretty self explanatory. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you what they look like when they're done with the racks too. So let's get into this. So I thought about it. Might want to tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> you explained it good enough, I think. I did. So to do this, all you're doing is getting some oh, hot glue. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Hot glue gun. And I want to say this was non-toxic. Yeah. It was non I don't want to say it was <laughs> non-toxic. <laughs> Made sure of that. I, I typed it into Google's and I trust Google's. So all you're doing is putting a nice thick bead going around that rim. Bring it around town. SpongeBob. And once you brought it around town, squish it where it goes. Squish it where you want to put it. Squish it. So what I do is, even like on the bigger tubs, cool. give I put it back enough, one just on the flat part, part, so that makes a lot of sense, but some tubs are different than mine. Um, but I wanted to give enough so the snake can, can get in front still, so it can still stay over here on the cool side, or stay on the hot side. Um, and then, and as you can see, it's, it's already in there, it, it's done. But I'm gonna let it cool. Before we put this in. Before we put the snakes in. And before we put this in. Yeah. That's what uh that's what I do. That's what I'm gonna start doing. Until we get real wax. Yep, yep. Which hopefully sooner than later. So I don't, I don't know if you just heard that, but that was Holly knocking over everything. No. Lies! There are nothing. You can edit that out. Let's get back to this. But if you like this DIY video, I have to complete another breeder rack. Like I have it built, but I've never put in heat tape or thermostat or anything like that. On that one. So yeah, on that one. So I have to make up the, the heat tape. If you guys want to see that, comment down below. Um, I can show you how I solder, because I solder in my heat tape. And I'm, I'm a big help too. Oh, the biggest of help. I, you guys saw her help me with that. Uh, that rack, I'm right? The one I had to cut back down and do it yourself, uh, actually, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll put that video right here. 
So uh, go ahead, click up there after this, after this, and watch uh, my hard work. Yeah, watch Holly help me completely dismantle and cut and reassemble hard a work. a snake rack. Yep. Because it was fun. Without her, honestly, I don't think I could have done it. Um, yep. Probably champ MVP one might yep. say. And we don't do this at the end. We don't do this. Right? <laughs> We're not even done yet. Oh. Yeah, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget, guys, our shirts. Woo. Final week. Final week for these shirts. All of our shirts will be at the lowest price that they'll be at. Yep. Um, honestly, like I make like a dollar to a dollar. It's basically a rat. Rat per shirt. Um, yeah, just you know, support us. That'd be great. And now... Now you guys can go do this to your own snake racks and your own built tubs and all that stuff. And look at that. You know, pretty water bowl in there. Wait, what's what in that? Who needs an ARS rack, right? When right. You can do it yourself. Do it yourself. Save that money. I'll catch you guys on the next one. There's, there's a squirrel in the house. <laughs>